hey guys welcome back this is part 8 of the video series of the investigation of geothermal energy potential using aeromagnetic data this is the last part of the series in this video i'm going to show you how we can come up with the geothermal gradient map the kiru depth and as well as the heat flow map from the analysis we have done and if you can check this was the this we have done in our last video we're able to get all these values and also we have the spectral plot now we are going to plot using sofa software for the Curie depth the geothermal gradient and the degree celsius per kelvin as well as, uh, as well as the heat flow q which is milliwatt per meter square what per meter square and this is what we are going to do so before that uh i'm going to provide the source file for the whole project from the beginning of google art pro you can see all the files are there and then the grids that i use is this 80 but you can use the other ones and also this for your work and this is the process ones which is also there then go back to the images for all the projects we have done so far these are the ones these are the ones we are going to do today the kiru depth the geothermal gradient map the heat flow and the, the, the map of Saudi Arabia, which have done all this map will be available and the OS montage what is this when you double click on the project you will see all the work we have done so far then on the QGIS when you click on project one you will see how you can able to edit and able to create your own study area map from the the shape files which you can see the grid files the, the the shape files are there which you can use so the shape files are all there which you can use and create your study area map the project is this and uses the study area map when you click on this you open the qgis you are able to edit your own map then so far this uh, the so far this is what we are going to do today to see all these things uh, so these are the project geothermal gradient so that you can able to edit and have your own style to it and uh, these are the curio so these are some papers you can use to model and these are the spectral analysis which is the doc document and this is the excel format which you will see everything that we have done so far including all the sheets all the block of data we have done here yeah. so this is what you have and of course this will not be available for free but for a small token of 7500 if you are from nigerians you can contact me through whatsapp through this number 0030687309 or if you are non-nigerians you can visit these links I will place the link on the description below the description of this video. You can check this link. If you are not Nigerians, you can be able to purchase for ten dollar. But if you are Nigerians, you have access to this for seven thousand five hundred naira. So once you visit the, the link, you are be you are you you will get to this page from where you can see everything here: geothermal potential energy, all the source file idea. When you click get in, you can enter your details and then you once you pay then a download link will be sent to you where you will see everything there so and that is what we're going to do so i'll place the link in the description of the below in the description of this video <laughs> so make sure you check it so that you can have the source file so let's get started so now let's on the, our desktop let's create a folder let me call it res then open our document which is this we have now also open excel i've opened excel then copy these two columns Control c then open excel then on air you write x then y then below here you Control g to paste then remove the format no body no border then center this that is it then here you put z center it then now let's go back to this that will take the curie depth which is this Control c to copy back to excel Control v to paste 
remove the border and that is it then now we save ctrl s we'll locate the folder we created on the desktop desktop this rest we call it uh, query depth then we'll save the format as command delimited format so this is the format we're going to use in sofa then you click save that we have done now let's copy these two columns ctrl c then file then new then paste then come here then write z then go back now let's take the geothermal gradient ctrl c minimize go back and paste ctrl v reduce the border no border then ctrl s to save and that same folder Just select the format command delimited then to thermal gradient gradient then save then we we'll do the similar the same process control c control n to open a new tab then control v to paste and write z then from this portion uh let's see what we have uh, let's see now the last column under the it flow copy ctrl c then paste and remove those border no border now ctrl s locate the folder and here is it to rest desktop select the format command delimited then write it flow it flow right a flow then click on save so click on save then now let's save then from there let's minimize then close close now we have them let's open the, the folder we have this structure there there are three now what we are going to do we are going to open software software i'm using version 13 you can use any version then close now navigate to grid and click data locate that folder on the desktop with this rest let's start with the kiro depth click open and leave everything the way it is then press ok wait now ok then close no then grade data again let's take the second one geothermal gradient open leave everything the way it is ok then click ok then close no then finally let's grid uh, the last one which is it flow click open leave everything the way it is and okay then click close this, this window then say no so now we have all the three. if we check back into the folders we'll see we have the three grids now we can now get our map then we we'll click on map navigate to map new then click on contour map then let's start with the query depth then click okay Kiri depth is this, so this is what we have. Then let's select the downward Kiri depth. Then under the levels, select under fill colors. Then under the presets, select rainbow. Then click OK. Then air fill cont contours. Then color scale, so that you can see the color scale value. Then scroll a little bit up. Show labels. Okay, that is it then i think uh, for the color map click on the color map up here then the 
title then the position put at the top then here we write uh, kilometer this is kilometer it's in kilometer then under click on font properties send the font properties to be 16 if you like as you can see it's now there and now click on it and drag it a little bit it's okay no let's now go label the the vertical which is the latitude and the horizontal which is the longitude now let's click on the left axis select axis under the title click then click this z here then you write latitude then you write zero not at this end then select this o then write on superscript then click ok then now scroll up under font properties set it to around 16 bold then the labels are very small scroll down to labels font properties set it to 14 so that's it then do the same thing for the bottom axis similar way then click here now this is longitude it is zero degree east then select zero then put set a subscript then click ok same way 16 then bold then let's come to the labels around 14 will be enough i think that is it now the longitude in degree is latitude degree north and the scale is there and thus i said the next thing now is for us to export this one export then select jpeg image then we'll stay on the folder we'll call it the curie depth curie depth map then click save so that is what we have we'll open our folder rest curie depth map you can see that is it so this is the curie depth map longitude and lots of latitude so we have it and close now we need to save this project to so any time we need to edit it you can do you can click on save then we call it the curio depth so we can come back to any time later and edit it then click save then we have done with it then click file the new click on file let's do the other plot plot this time around we say map new contour map now the geothermal gradient similar way we do then select rainbow okay fill contours color scale show label then click on color bar then the geothermal gradient the unit is in degree celsius per kelvin degree celsius per kelvin let's see no per kilometer then click on this degree celsius per kilometer minus one so select the zero set it at the subscript select minus one set it at the subscript and click ok then the position you can see the position is here we'll let's put it up the position let's see not left but top then change the font size 16 give it a bold color and i'll click and drag position it here i think it's okay now the same thing for the left axis latitude zero degree not 
Your degree not and this then okay send the font size to 16 set bold and the label scroll down for the label and set it around 14 and let's do for the bottom axis and click on this and we have latitude degree east Set on zero, then set subscript, then OK. And font size set it at 16. Then bold. Scroll up and then set to be 14. Then that is it. Now file export JPEG. J Back. Um, geothermal gradient map so it's easy to understand map then let's open it and check geothermal gradient map is yes, it I see but degree celsius per kilometer so there is a unit then let's don't forget to save this project then click save same thing over here joe thermal gradient project then click save then we have done with this then click file the new plot now let's move to the last one map new Want to warm up then we have it flow a similar process so the unit is what milliwatt per meter square left axis latitude degree not font size 16 labels 14 then the last one is the bottom axis title longitude degree degree east okay then set it to 14 16 I'm sorry then the font weight bulk under the labels 32 14 so these are the labels 14 then there is it nothing much then again export set the format to jpeg now we have um, it flow map let's check we have the it flow map this is what we have so let don't forget to save our project save it flow map it flow 
then click save so that means you can come to it at any time this key read it this is your thermal grain you can come to it at any time and make you can edit it anytime you like so let's close it so that's how we do the get come up with the map the curie depth the geothermal uh, gradient map and as well as the heat flow map and that is what exactly you see in the work of this paper similar map you see it that's how to go about investigation of geothermal energy potential using aeromagnetic data see the three maps the heat flow map the geothermal gradient and as well as the curie depth are to come about using that of the oil's montage software the same the same paper again the same way same logic you see the maps so these are the way to go about them in doing this analysis so now what are we going to look for because from the curie depth we have the geothermal gradient so we look at uh, where we have so high values so if we cross check we look at the scale the, the red at the high value so around the northern it's northern part towards the west there is high value and as well down way between the southwest around these areas so to be very high values so this area might be area of potential of uh geomagnetic energy well the lowest value are obtained at the central part of the study areas immediate values are obtained around the northeast part so values and these are lower values so you may expect to have around these areas where you may have high gradient possibility of high heat flow then if we go to the other map what is the heat flow map see the similar trend again we try to see because if we compare the two compare the two they look similar they look similar so the same thing correct ratio with it so that's how normally we try to get as we go so we see the values here let me check the other one uh, okay so around this area so those are the areas where we need to have where the value actually ranges from uh, high values fall from around 39 to 43 watt per millimeter square the highest value are obtained around these areas towards this area and that's where we obtain the high potential of getting uh, of having geothermal energy and that's what we need to have then we check the curie depth similar thing let's look at the curie depth of course you can see the curie depth of course is in line because the sun these are the the shallow part are obtained thus around this area which is in agreement with that of the of the geothermal gradient as well as the heat flow so around this area spirit of having a high what the, this area will not be feasible because of the high depth is too much high so those are the areas we may, be, may be a prospect for geothermal energy around this area if we check the study area map around these areas so those are the areas here yeah. we may have around the day three ungwar wasma karai around this center part kenya Remingado, gabo karwan area so these are the area where we maybe have a prospect of geothermal energy so i think that's uh all for this series of video from part one up to part eight that is the end of this video i um, thank you very much to have been all this while to come to the end of this video series like i said the source file will be made available for a very small token all the source file you can use it to model your own and i'll provide also another files two extra grid file you can also match and carry out your analysis you can also use what to model and this is the spec file that you'll be using for the grading and all others for the for the projection you can have it there you can have it there like i said there's a price is this if you're in nigeria you can contact me through the whatsapp number is thus 
or through this if you visit this link then you will take in to this page where for those a token of ten dollar you can have access to this and also not also that if you have any problem i can have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with you to assist you in doing your own work provided you have this so if you have you want to use your own data or grid to carry out the analysis i'll be there of i'll be there to assist you to help you to make sure at least you do it the right way thank you for all this while together if you have any question comments please drop them down in the comment section below see you in another time thank you